Hey, welcome back to Elden Ring, my status effects playthrough. And my DLC character. I'm on my way through the snow fields. Well, I guess to the snow fields. Um, to see if, uh, to kind of continue on, but so with this playthrough, I've been trying to collect as many of the items as possible, but uh, I think I'm going to kind of consolidate it and go for key items and not every single item. Um, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> because I've... So I've been playing Dark Souls 3 on and off for ages and I want to focus on that playthrough because while this playthrough is super fun uh, I really want to be able to have more time to play that oh I don't know if I if you saw but I respect and got 35 decks so I could use Morgoth's sword which is only plus four because I didn't have a somber five. And I should get the bell bearing for that pretty soon. So this is where I was thinking Millicent would be. Maybe up by the grace up here. No. Ah. Yeah, I just don't know where she is. Maybe if I sit at the grace, let's try that. I bet I really I think I missed her somewhere. I thought there was a, a place where she was on like the side of a hill in Kalid somewhere. I think I'm safe until killing fire giant. I know killing fire giant is like the big, the big change. All right, well, let's just go. It, it's so nice to have the music back, though. That's the one thing Do I was. You hear me? It is I, Natena. We're almost there. Castle Soul lies just off to the north, where the other medallion is housed. It will grant passage to the land of the Halic Tree. Okay. So my my I'm doing the Latena quest and. So I guess I got dialogue now, and she's, like, telling me to go to Consecrated Snowfield. But, yeah, Kniall, Commander Nile, that's, uh, that's going to be interesting. But I do have, there's a, a strat that I've seen before that I've never tried, which is um, the Bewitching Branch, where you charm one of Commander Nile's uh, spirit ashes, and then they, like, fight each other. And then you don't have to worry about two at the same time. Here we go. We got a grace.
All right, so I want to go straight through here and get the bell bearing so I can upgrade this weapon. Because I believe bell bearing four plus, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, plus five and six is here. And then seven and eight, I believe, is in... Oh, yeah, that's Spear Collar Cave. What do you get there? I Yeah, you get... um. You get that talisman, I believe, is the god skin. I'll do you later, Borealis. Oh, I forgot about the freaking crab lobsters. Okay, I'm lost, you guys. <laughs> oh, there's another lobster. Whoa, I was way off. I did not think I was here. Okay. All right. Perfect. Bell bearing three. Perfect. And what do I got? All right, let's go. I want to go hand this in and upgrade my weapon. And then I'm think I'm going to try um I'm going to try to fight What is it? Um Vike. To get his armor because I love his armor. It's one of my favorites. Okay, we got a five. And I got lots of sixes. I'll just get two fives. Mimic is plus ten. Um, I have pretty much all the things that I could want for well, I took you no matter DLC. And then plus eight this. That's it. Yeah. Freezing Lake. Oh yeah, Castle Soul. Jeez. It's close. Oh, that's not it. Oh yeah, I gotta go all the way over here. Not having the map fragment kind of messed with my head. Yo, miss it. I I missed Torrent though. Playing um Dark Souls 3. It's it's all it's It's crazy because the game is smaller, but it doesn't seem small because I I well what I think is the case is it doesn't seem small because of the fact that you have you're on foot rather than torrent, so you just don't move around as fast. Okay, I need max lightning damage resistance. Yeah, this 
the scaled armor, like, you just, I don't know, I haven't found anything that can beat it. That. Ah, uh, let's see. So I have this. Bloody Helis has really served me well, so I'm going to go with that. Okay, what has... This has rot on it and poison, so I want to at least try to poison him. And I'll throw this on, too, in case I want to get adventurous and try frost. All right, so I got this, this, and this. Where is, do I have a lightning proof liver? Lightning proof liver, okay. I don't know when he gets that buff though. Okay. Let's go. Okay, I haven't fought Vike in a long while. Okay, he's really fast. Oh, okay, bloody healus. Input reading. Oh, well, he actually took damage. I'll take that. Oh, yeah, the... Okay, the stagger. That's great. Oh, that hurts. Input reading. Oh. Look at that, that triple step. That was hilarious. Oh, 
Oh, how did I not hit you there? Yeah, sure. So look at him. Look at him running after me to, for the kill shot. <laughs> Bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the armor. Wait, I'm naked. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. As I was teleporting I took all the armor off to trade it change it all right nice all right so we're going to yo I'm Vike so what else is around here so I have the the thorn area. This way. With uh I gotta watch out for the dogs. What did I do? Uh, yeah, this way. Okay. So, oh, I gotta sit at the grace. Oh, he's worth a lot of runes. Yikes. Can I level? Yeah, yikes. Okay, what can I do? This. I don't have 50 vigor anymore because of... I used my... respec so I could use Morgoth's great sword which honestly I don't know how much I'm going to use it So, oh, also, one thing I've experienced is the, like, charge attacks are very similar. Okay, bye. Okay. Yeah, but the, the charge attack timing is really similar to... Elden Ring. And also, so far... I've gotten to, ah, uh, what's the guy's name? He's a giant spirit ghost. 
Karth Karthus. And... Yeah, I don't like the hitbox on this... This weapon. The only thing is... They shouldn't have made it where it literally goes over the enemy's head. <laughs> I don't get that. But... Alright, some things I need to change, though. I need to put this on. And get my poise back. There we go. And in the... Like, I'm in the dungeon, pretty much. In that area or whatever. And... I've died, uh... Not too many times. Throughout the playthrough. And it just, it hasn't been what I would, it hasn't been so bad, but really I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the time to come where everything turns and I'm just having a really hard time. You know what I mean? Because Elden Ring, I think, gets... Has, like, varying levels. But I'd say... Elden Ring, right out of the gate, hits you with... Margit, right? And Margit, I, I think, is one of the hardest bosses... Well, if not the hardest boss I know of. In relation to the level that you are. So that's a big that's a big component of it. Like everyone says that they think Mar Margit is the hardest boss. Yeah, I think Margit's a hard boss, but you have to consider when you're facing him. That was so silly. Oh, I didn't take fall damage? What? That was crazy. Okay. I thought I was dead. But the beginning dude, um, in, well, I won't talk too much. I'll wait until you see the, you, you can see the playthrough. And if it's out already, like, and I've already uploaded it, um, you'll have to check it out. Because the first guy that I fought, he's like the tutorial boss. It was so good. But I'll ha I have to say, Dark, Soul th Dark Souls 3 is just as sad, if not sadder, than this game. Okay, what do I want to do? I don't want to use this. Wait, did I aggro the dog? Oh no, the dog, if I remember, is like eating stuff. And my... Oh, I do miss my double dual wheel katanas, though. Like, what am I doing, you guys? I can't platform anymore. Okay. Hopefully, I don't throw fall down anymore, but.
Ow. Goodbye. Nice. Okay, let me get this. I think it's a, to a tomb. Some sort of a, a prayer book. Yep, Giant's Prayer Book. We got it. Why oh, didn't want to jump down? Oh, there is jump downs. The camera in this game, um,. It's so similar to Dark Souls 3. I have to say that game, um, like the controls, it's actually wild to me how smooth everything is. I just can't even. For the age of the game, it's just so surprising. Okay, let me go actually. Okay, let's go take out this guy. Hoslo. And I, I have a way to... Uh, I have a pretty good method to take him out, and it is with this Penelope's pole blade. On my arcane playthrough, I was able to take him out with this. So what message is constantly getting raided? This one, first off, well done in the Sainted Hero's Grave, yeah. Nice. I love, I, I was, I'm happy about that message. Because it's right after you fight the gauntlet of imps. Like you fall down in that hole and then there's just like a, a complete nightmare scenario of all imps ready to get you. So what I'm actually really excited about is I actually have the item for bleed resistance. So that way I can not get bled out as easily by Juno. Okay, there's his sign. Let's do... He just does physical damage, I believe. So I'll, I'll put the this raises robustness, and then I think I have the twin blade talisman. So I'll put that on wherever it is. If I unequip everything, uh, I should be able to use another talisman, and I still have 52 poise, so we're good there. Let me put on one of these in case I need it. All right, let's go. Why can, I don't know why I can summon there. Oh. Yeah, okay. Two-handing is not the that button. He punishes that, doesn't he? Okay, we have time.
that th for some reason that effect lags out my that see the do you guys see this lag I'm dealing with I don't like oh I'm I don't have any more heals yeah I'm dead bye guys yeah okay how can I fix that lag it's really bad come on what is this okay I was like geez I'm gonna have to put it on like medium that's crazy that effect like whatever effect the whip has like my I have a I have a 4070 like this this should not be happening uh let's do I'll put everything on medium yeah I don't feel like I I feel like I would oh I should definitely fight him in his brother's armor that's poetic right okay well I forgot to use crabs, so I'll do that this time. What did I do? Oh, I res I returned back to this area. I thought I was thinking that I was going to return to a grace for some reason. Get away from me, you bats. What's this? Yeah, go home. Okay. So I have this, this. What other weapons do I have? I don't know. I have this. This has done me right in PvP situations. So let's try this. I'm heavy. I'm heavy load right now, guys. Got him. Even with heavy load. I love this weapon. Yeah, the side hitboxes on this weapon is great. Like, on either side of it, it's up and down. Like, above and below is rough. Oh, yeah, I got, got the armor. Nice. Okay, so Juno Haslow is dead. This should trigger his brother to go to like a different area might as well get all these items and his petal whips have bleed on them and I I've never used whips 
Scout's Honor, I've never used them. The only time I believe I've used it, it used those is when it was like randomizers or something like that. Okay, so we have to I have to take out these Bird tree avatars over here as well. Oh, I know this place. I'm not, I'm not messing with bats. No thanks. I don't care. I'm not fighting them. <laughs> I will not. Flying enemies? No thanks. Sister, where did you go? You promised me. <sighs> Dear sister, you finally here. No time to waste. Let's see the stars. Have fun. Have fun, you guys. Fancy spin is totally necessary. Is this on? I gotta turn this on, I forgot. Uh, I'm, I'm heavy load. So let me go back to what I was wearing. There we go. Heavy load without a root arc, that is. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, where are we? Nice. Here we go. Yo, Corin. Ah, uh, nice to see you. Uh, I c can't believe you've come all this way. About the noble goldness. I've been gripped by a terrifying thought. The rhythms and calculus of the master's finger betray a suspicion of the holism of the golden order, a conceit. I am afraid, that cannot be overlooked. Oh, but how could this be? I dread to even entertain the possibility, but somehow I cannot cast aside my doubts about the Master. Tell me, have I simply lost my head? Only, if the Master were true to the Golden Order, why would he think to breach this forbidden mount of fire? Um... Oh, Master. My mind at ease. Dispel these fearsome thoughts. I want to place my trust in you. To be your scribe. <laughs> oh. Alright. Uh, I might as well buy the last of the things that I haven't bought from him. Because he's going to disappear pretty soon. something in. Yep. Oh, wow. 13,000? For what? Increases left-hand shield affinity ailment? What? Okay. 13,000? Okay. I only have 7,000. Whatever. Alright, I'll be... I'll see you later. Alright, I have to take out these... Er, this Erdtree avatar here because... It's got like the best, well, one of my favorite sacred tiers or crystal tier, whatever they call it. Uh, it's the Crimson Burst tier, I believe. It's, here we go. I gotta grab the grace over here. Oh, 
All right, let's see. For this lady, uh, not that, definitely not those. So this, this boss is interesting just because of the way it works as far as transforming. Oh yeah, I made this blood again. I'm not sure why though. Oh, because I put frost on this. Got it. All right, and then I'll put on my other katana. Uh, actually, let me... No, this is not the one to try new things on. I was just going to say, I was like, wait, why don't I try the um, Morgoth's Greatsword? And then I was like, uh, no, I just... When it splits in half, Morgoth's greatsword, the ash, uh, the weapon art, you like fly forward and do like a turnaround. And I think that's, for me anyway, I think that's better suited for multiple enemies. Okay, that's great. Oh yeah, okay, that's not good. Oh my god, do not knock me over the cliff. Goodbye. Yeah, we did it. Okay. I keep trying to two-hand with the uh, A, but yeah, nice. Crimson. Oh, it's the Crimson Bubble Tier. All right, let's go. All right, so we got those. Did I turn this on? I think I did, but I can't remember. Yep, we got it. You know, that, that lady was worth 50k, I think. It's been... I gotta say, it is really nice um, to learn new moves. Mo new bosses and stuff. Because, you know, I'm just been... I'm really used to these bosses. I've been playing Elden Ring so much since I found it because it's just like the best game and I've always I was a little skeptical with Dark Souls 3 so and I'd say the the game that I'm most spoiled on is Dark Souls 1 Dark Souls 2 and 3 not so much but Dark Souls 1 um That one, uh, I've seen a lot of it. But, you know, I don't think that's a huge deal. Oh god. Oh my god, you are obnoxious.
We got him. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay, I think after this, I'm going to make my way to Castle Soul. Okay, where's the... This guy. I'm so happy I didn't fly off the edge. I was... I Mid-weapon art, I was like, oh, wait. This wasn't a good idea. Ah, Founding Reign of Stars. I love this thing. I'm super torn about the DLC. Like, I... When I did my play first playthrough of Elden Ring, I did Glenstone Sorcery, and that's how I, you know, beat the game. And I was like, should I do that in the DLC? And then I was like, no. I love melee now too much. Oh, I need to... I have to fast travel. Okay, so I want to go this way. Oh, the, the uber death bird there. I don't think... I, I don't know if I'm going to do that right now. Maybe I'll do that a little later. But I'd like to get Castle Soul done and uh, make my way to the Hallig Tree. I mean, the Consecrated Snowfield. So I can get this axe I really want. The Beast Eye Quivers. Oh yeah, there's a mariner here, which I never I never fight the mariner here. Yo, the philosophy of this this of that mariner is more is more. They're just like well, increase difficulty by adding more stuff. Okay, bye. No death right bird. No thanks. Okay, so now we're getting into uh, 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 when the game starts getting really hard. For me, like, once you kill Morgoth and you, you head to the snowfields and stuff, like, that's when the game really starts uh, getting sadistic. Alright, so from here... Do I have anything that increases frost resistance? I guess this, right? No, none of these increase frost resistance. Ah, yuck. Okay. Alright, I need to kill this guy or else he's gonna drive me nuts. He's so loud. Is there things on his feet? Yeah, okay. Run! Alright, let's go... Uh, I don't know which one I want to duplicate right now. Okay, I'll wait on that. I'll wait on this. Until I have more, uh, remembrances. Oh, lord. Good grief, here we go. Alright, so these guys, I might be able to poison them. If 
I get Bryo stones out. Can they go up there? That's my question. Okay, just hang out there for a bit. Okay, dude is poisoned. I want to kill one of them before I... Oh, this is going to be... This is going to take forever. Because, like, if they both attack... My gosh. Okay, so... Okay, I know that... Wait, poison ran out already. Wait, hold on. There's one. Oh, the other one sleeps. I didn't even know that. Okay. I don't have time to do that. Okay. Yo, the other one came over. No fair. Over here, dudes. Look at them running away. You nasty. They'll re aggro. Dude ain't rotted. How dare you? Look at them both in their AI. You're the worst. Okay. What do I have? This? Once I kill one of them, we'll be home free. I can summon here too if I wanted to. I didn't realize that. I probably should, but... Oh, okay, they don't dodge this. Okay, they don't dodge that, which is so weird. This g the other dude is stuck, you guys. Like, this is just such chaos. Yo, 
Yo, that AI is annoying though. That isn't what I want. Okay. Nice. Oh, uh, I... I remember... I can't... I remember now. I don't have to kill all the enemies. <laughs> so I could... I really could just run past all these guys. Um... Like... That's the wild thing, is I could beat the game probably in like an hour right now, but... <laughs> 